Schuyler, and this is NHTV. Let's start off today's broadcast with the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, eighth graders, did you know that you can still get an eighth grade recognition page in the yearbook? You need to go to theyearbookcompany.com to order your eighth grade recognition page. Again, that's the yearbookcompany.com to order your eighth grade page. Don't delay because the last day to order will be February 11th, which is coming up. Speaking of yearbooks, Mr. Bouquet still has yearbooks from last year that need a home. If you paid your yearbook from the 2019-2020 school year and you have not picked it up yet, please email Mr. Bouquet at jpaulingbouquet at dcsdk12.org to schedule a time to pick it up. February is just around the corner, and you know what that means, Valentine's Day Sucker Sale. The Student Council is currently holding the annual Valentine's Day Sucker Sale. Suckers will be sold for $1.50, and you can purchase them, un purchase them under my school bucks. You can purchase a sucker until February 9th. Distributions of sucker may vary, depending on whether or not the building will be open and will either be distributed directly to students on February 11th and 12th, or suckers will be available for pickup after school from 3 to 4 on February 10th and 11th, or from 8 to 12.45 on February 12th. Don't worry about what's for dinner. Come join RHMS community at Five Guys or call ahead to enjoy some of their yummy homemade burgers and other tasty treats. Be sure to mention RHMS when ordering a 15% of sales to come back to RHMS PCA. Today's weather is a high of 44 and a low of 24. It will also be partly cloudy. If it's your birthday today, then this one's for you. Happy, happy birthday from Nighthawk News to you. We wish you happy birthday so we can eat cake too. Woo! And here's a word from Mr. Cook and Mrs. Freeman. Hello, Nighthawks. It's that time again when we get to celebrate you, all that you're doing, all that you're bringing to our culture, all that you're doing to support each other and to keep focused on your classes. There has been a lot lately that we've dealt with, um, obviously for a long time, but recently you've dealt with some added layers uh, of even disappointment when we thought for a minute that we were going to get back to it, that we were going to get back to the building, get back together, rebuild those connections, keep the awesome learning going. And then we didn't get to do that. The timeline got pushed a little bit. It's still right on the horizon. We're still planning on doing it very, very, very soon and welcoming you back into our building. Um, but what I have seen from you is, is grace is flexibility, is persistent. Your ability to roll with anything that's been thrown your way and continue to elevate um, and find excellence in your education is, is something that makes me very, very, very proud of you. And so right now, as we step back into celebrating our Leading by Example Awards, um, I just know that I can't wait to see you and congratulate you again in person very, very, very soon. So for this month's Leading by Example Awards. Take it away, Ms. Freeman. Thank you so much, Principal Cook, for those kind words. Now, I have the pleasure of telling you all who the Leading by Example Award winners are for this month. Yes, folks, your teachers were watching you even in the pandemic. And guess what? They found kindness even in a pandemic. It's possible. So you guys keep doing what you're doing. We're so grateful. And without further ado, Carter Warnicky, Lindsay Kendall, Kylie Hobdy, Rosie Benson, Briar Piatti, Bree Judd, Isabel Weissman, Skylar Smith, and Jalen Luber. Thank you guys for doing the right thing, even when you're not even in this big school setting. But guess what? You're going to be back soon, and that's I'm so looking forward to seeing each and every one of your faces. Um, I wanted to leave you with a little leadership quote. Take it or leave it. I got to do it. Um, so this is the thought. 
What a wonderful thought it is that some of the best days of our lives haven't happened yet. You guys, it's so important to look forward to the future, especially when it's been like some tough days. It, they have been. But you know what? So many beautiful days ahead are waiting for you guys. I mean, look at this picture behind me. Maybe I'll go there someday. So always look forward to something. It's very important to, to do that. And you guys are awesome. Come say hi to Miss Freeman when we get back because I want to see your faces. I'll try to find some Jolly Ranchers. Okay. Bye, Nighthawks. Well, that's all we have for you today, Nighthawks. Make sure to wear your mask all the way over your nose and keep social distancing. Have a great weekend, Nighthawks. Bye. Roll it. All right. Hey, guys. So how are you guys doing? What was that? It was nothing. All right. I'm gonna go check mine. There's nothing there. Okay. I'm not gonna check the door. Dude, check your door. You definitely Dude, need you to. you have to open it. Come on, we checked ours. No, I'm not gonna check my door. There's nothing there. Fine, I will. I guess there was nothing in the door.